So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick live reveal here on these HGA graded cards. This is my first time submitting to them, so we'll get a good look at kinda what the slabs look like too. My lighting sucks, um, but I'm trying to also be quiet because Calvin's napping. So first card is a Randy Arena. This is a Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. Um, was hoping for a 9.5 or better on this one. It looked pretty good to me. So let's flip. Cover up the grade here. Uh, obviously, Topps Chrome Sapphire. Looks nice. And getting used to this camera thing. Let's see what we got. 9.5 and it's a true 9.5 very nice and you can see the slab I have it to matching uh, the card on this one so it's got that kind of dark blue um, with some sapphire type stuff there in this region and then it still matches the team a little bit over here because his jersey is pretty prominent and then you got a little bit of the yellow there too to match up on the yellow on the card so pretty sweet that is a very nice looking card. Um, probably not going to hold on to this one. I don't really think Randy or Rosarena is all that great. So this will be hopefully a really nice flip. Because I got this in a Montgomery Club box. So that's sweet. So this one is the big one. This one could get a 9 or a 9.5 I think. Now the autograph is a 10. So that is sweet. But this is my Spencer Torkelson Bowman Chrome autograph. These are going for like $600 raw now, so the value could be pretty astronomical. I haven't seen any HGA graded yet, so this might be the first HGA graded one. So a 9, 5, or 10 could be absolutely ridiculous. So again, let's cover the grade up. As you can see, nice card, Spencer Torkelson. Uh, centering looks pretty good. It's maybe a little right heavy. Maybe like a 9 on centering is what I would expect. So definitely not really expecting a 10, but I think 9 or 9.5 here. 9.5. Very nice. So they actually like the centering, and the edges got a 10 too. So they knocked it on the surface a little bit, but that is a team color matching uh, label there, as you can see. It's got the orange and blue. Um... Not really much orange showing in the card except for kind of down there on the name. Sorry, the light really sucks. Let me see if I can change that at all. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'll get better lighting. But anyways, pretty successful, I think, for my first submission. That Torkelson looks sweet, and that is a monster card. The Arena also looks sweet. Actually, the Arena, the label is freaking perfect. Thing looks awesome. So, very excited about that. So, there we go. And they, uh, just so you guys know, this was a 10-day sub. Um, today, technically, is the 11th day. But yesterday would have been the 10th business day. So, if the mail had actually arrived uh, in two days, because they shipped it two-day priority, I would have gotten it back in hand on day 10 which is pretty sweet. Also, good thing to note, um, they don't have like population reports up yet. Um, I'm assuming they will. They also don't like really give you any updates as the grading happens at this point. They're probably a little overwhelmed. Um, so I had no notifications about anything to do with these cards until I actually checked my shipping uh, notifications from USPS. I get notified whenever a package is coming. So... I'll check, like, I'll always know when I get packages from Breakers and eBay and things like that. So I saw one coming from Tennessee where HGA is located, and that's the only reason I knew this was coming. So this, otherwise, this just would have been a big surprise because I was kind of expecting email updates or something. So there you have it. Um, yeah. Let me know how the uh, audio was on the video. I know the picture is kind of dark, so that'll be something that's a work in progress in the future.